I define success for myself as just being happy with what I am writing, what I have written, and hopefully down the road, what I will write. My name is Drew Hayden Taylor. My latest work is a collection of short stories called Take Us to Your Chief. They're sort of a combination of indigenous sci-fi. Why did I want to write this uh, collection? Well, why not? Um, I'm a big fan of science fiction, and the thing I, I found very, very interesting is that if you go into the traditional teachings and stories of many indigenous cultures across Canada, you will find stories of um, star people coming down and interacting with uh, people on Earth, or people from Earth going up into the stars. If you look at pictographs and petroglyphs, you see what could be imagery of aliens. And also, more interestingly, on a more of a satiric level, um, what people in North America have a better understanding of uh, technologically advanced strangers suddenly showing up and taking over everything. One of the things I'm very, very interested in as a First Nations writer is expanding the boundaries of what is considered First Nations literature. The vast majority of literature coming out are either victim narratives or um, historical narratives. Uh, and I wanted to do something that went outside those themes that I thought of were being um, explored a little too readily. So I decided, uh, as I, when I started out, I decided to write comedies. My very first novel was a vampire novel. My second novel was a, um, a magic realism. So the third one I thought would be, uh, that would be interesting would be to go and explore the world of science fiction. And right now I'm working on a novel that is sort of a native horror novel. So it's all about expanding native literature. Because I'm a firm believer that native writers are as interested, as talented, and um, as curious about writing genre fiction. I'm really excited about uh, Sherry Demerlane, whose book The Marrow Thieves has just won so many different things. This growing explosion of native science fiction. I think the sky's the limit, uh, no pun intended, and I'm looking forward to seeing what writers like that, like that come up with and uh, are further expanding the boundaries of native literature. Um, I have covered a lot of different bases in my work and there's so much more to explore. So for me, happiness is just the chance to sit down and tell a good story. Thank